Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 6 Lost Borders. Today we're starting up Chapter 15. Last time, though, we have pretty much found Ernst and the, the Nether Beasts, and Kyle was eaten alive by them, and then just as suddenly saved from them. Because apparently, Ist can take care of it with his magical strings. Even though he said earlier that he has no clue about those strings, but sure, whatever. Well, yeah, we kind of do. Ist did it. I mean, Ist literally just got rid of the nether beasts. Or at least all the nether gunk left over. Not the nether beasts themselves, though. Again, Ist got rid of it. <laughs> like, what are these people missing? Oh. Oh yeah, I guess Claire is putting up a barrier or something for us. But why is she even erecting this barrier? Like, what is she doing? This doesn't make any sense. We got rid of it. All of the drippy black stuff, all the nether crap, look at those nipple guards, like, I can't even deal with it. Um, they... It was all on Kyle's fist, Ist got rid of it with his strings, then Amr used her Miracle Angel Cure or whatever, and then he was fine. But then there's gunk still, like, on the floor or something, and it's just sitting there, and they need a barrier to protect them from it? Seriously? Oh... Huh, came from the source of all creation. Really? Oh, from a rift between worlds. Yeah, no kidding. But that pretty much happened all throughout the entirety of Summon Night 5, so why Fulth isn't saying anything is really beyond me. Oh, yeah, that is true. And Luchel was in Summon Night 5, so she should know about it as well, but she's not saying anything either. What's wrong with you people? Why don't you ever speak up? Yeah, Ernst. Fulth knows all about him. Maybe Pere will say something about it? Really? Seriously? You're not going to tell them who that person was? Wow. Okay, the only thing that I could possibly think of was in Summon Night 5 that somehow Fulth fought a different person other than Ernst? I don't know. I only played Arca's path, I didn't play Fulth's path, so beats me. I assume that Arca and Fulth would fight the same villain, but I don't know. Oh, really? Huh. So you're just able to pull this vacuum out of your ass and suck up nether... Oh, I... Wow, I guess so. It sucked the barrier away too? You're kidding. So this vacuum that's super strong sucked an entire barrier and nether into an alternate dimension, but it didn't suck anything else in this alternate dimension? None of these papers on the desks? Or any of these people here or anything? How convenient. Oh, okay. So just dead things, yet, you know, we just had the dead nether, and we were also scared of it. It was freaking dead. Come on. Ugh. Again, I really shouldn't try to make sense of JRPGs. I'm gonna give myself an aneurysm because it's just... It's just nonsensical. It really is. Or at least this game is. Oh, I guess so. Something tells me that, uh, Burrell doesn't really get involved in merchantry, though. Yeah. And Spinel, why don't you say something about it? Really, Fulth? You're not gonna say who this person is? You're gonna say the strange man? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, I don't know. 
Man, you people are all idiots. Unless, I mean, like I was saying, maybe Fult did fight some other villain. Maybe Fult's story was completely different. I don't think it was, but maybe. If any of you played Summonite 5 and you actually went down Fult's path, let me know. But something tells me it's seriously the same freaking thing. Oh, a loud wet squelch. Ooh. Maybe one of you just has gas? I don't know. Like, really gross wet gas. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. Well, you know what? I mean, that Sumi, get it together, because Taurus just told you. She just, just told you that ghosts come from Saparith. She just said that, and then she's like, oh, well, are there ghosts in Limbo? Well, no freaking shit, you idiot. Listen to what we're saying to you. Ugh. Maybe somebody just has to go to pee at night or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they are. Well, what do you think it is? Yeah. Again, what Taurus just told you. Oh. Oh. So there aren't any ghosts here. Maybe it is Bullrel. Maybe he's just pulling pranks. Yeah, how did they get on to studying? Like, come on now. Patrols? Nobody else is here. Oh, do you know what it is? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, you know, he swallows us up. We're kind of in his stomach and everything, so he's just digesting food. Makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't think so. That's different, though. Oh, it's Spinel. I like Spinel. Oh. But Spinel's acting differently in this game than she did in the previous game. She was, like, really spunky in the previous game. In this game, she looks like, I'm just an angel. I'm just a little healer. Oh, I can't do anything on my own. Sort of thing, which is really getting on my last nerve. Kind of like Amr. Her and her little prayer stance. It's getting on my nerves, too. <laughs> How did you not meet her before? Oh. Wow, so Spinel's able to sense the angelicness inside of Armor? Oh, well, that's because she's from Saparith. She's not a real angel. She's not from heaven or anything. But seriously, shouldn't Amr have met Spinel before? Like, whenever everyone came together? Like, last chapter and everything? I guess not. I don't know. How could she miss her? I mean, Spinel's pretty hard to overlook. Oh, I guess. What are you talking about? If you say so. Yeah, what are you so happy about? What are you talking about? Honor was the one who said mean things to you. Really? Seriously? Ugh. Ugh. 
This is like so Japanese, I can't even stand it. <laughs> we just met, and I was mean to you, and you were mean to me, but let's just be sisters! Sure. Yeah, let's all go be happy-go-lucky, sure. Kill me now. I don't think any of these relationships ever really end badly. That oh, was Nesty a fishing lover too? Well, that's different. Yeah, what are you guys doing? What's with the prayer pose, 80? Like, who stands like that? No one in real life ever just stands around like that. With their hands clasped together like that. Like, if she had pearls, she'd be clutching them right now, for no reason. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, really? You fish up water ogres? You must be really strong to fish up an ogre. How did you fish up a penguin? Ugh! Human legs? Come on! Meow fish? You mean like a catfish? They're not very adorable. They're actually kind of disgusting, I've got to say. Whenever I was in Israel, we were on the River Jordan, and there was these people getting baptized in the River Jordan, and there were signs saying not to do it because it was really polluted. But we went down, and you know, you, you of course wanted to get a little bottle of water or something from the river. And they sold glass bottles there, they've got a dollar. So we go down to the little river and we fill up our bottle, and there was, I swear to God, a hundred plus catfish right there. And it freaked me the hell out, because I was, I was just suspecting, you know, peaceful water. Not billions of catfish all over the place, so I gave my bottle of water to Ken and I made him fill it up, because, ugh, I didn't want to deal with it, it was disgusting. <laughs> So there's my little catfish story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the fish dropped down from the sky? You've got to be kidding. Wow. How clandestine that the fish, whenever they get summoned, get summoned right over a lake and fall right into the only water in the world. How convenient. Oh. Why are you gonna make fun of them? They're just excited about fishing. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Nessie seems to have all sorts of problems. I don't know what his deal is. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the cafe and bar. Oh, there's Fulk behind the counter! Little barista, he's gonna make some coffee or something. It's kinda weird seeing Fulk back there all small while everybody else is in the forefront all big. Oh, yeah. Just like Arca. Oh. I don't know why he would want to practice doing this, but hey, it is what it is. Really crowded? What are you talking about? The only people who are here are the people who are in our party, and they're supposed to be like your friends and everything. Just, they'll, they'll understand. You know, it's not like you're serving some 40-year-old white woman bitch who like, ugh. You're screaming for a manager because you're like two seconds behind or anything. I mean, come on. These are all your friends. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh. Again, how are you having a rush? Like, okay, things like this really make it sound as if there's more people in this world than just the people who were summoned here, you know, than just the people in our party. But I don't know. Uh, yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. Why Natsumi is hanging out with Kasis is beyond me, but sure. Okay. Yeah, so uh, what do you want to drink? I'm gonna surprise you. Uh, let's see, there are running for sports quencher, but they're probably hot, so a chiller might be good too. And a cafe special. I don't know, that sounds like a hot drink. We'll go with the oolong tea chiller. You know, it's oolong tea, it's green tea. It'll keep your, um, your metabolism up and everything. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad that you like it. Good. I'm glad that you hate it. Ugh. I hate you too, Casus. Well, sweet. I like Natsumi. This was like the perfect drink, because Natsumi liked it, and Casus hated it. Hope you choke on it, you bitch. Hate you. Good. That's exactly what I was aiming for. And again, they're like talking to them like they're customers and everything, but they're just... They're their friends. It's... Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. Whatever. Let's see. What's going on over here? Oh, really? Okay, is it just me, or does Spinel look like she has one of those, um, one of those little, like, water tubes around her waist? You know, those things that you wear in the pool, the little thing that goes around your waist and everything? Like, it doesn't look like part of her dress. It's just really oddly shaped. Well, she's a merchant, and you're at a shop. You know, they really should get along because, I mean, even though they are Angel and Demon, they're both from Sabareth. I mean, come on, they have stuff in common. Yeah, seriously, we're on the same side, we're all trying to get back to Limbaum, they're both from the same world, so like, get it together. Yeah, seriously. Just be nice. Be civil. How hard could it possibly be? Uh, no. <laughs> um, okay. That's okay. No, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Yeah. Wow, who knew that Lucho was a lesbian? Huh. Oh, is she? I didn't catch that vibe. Okay, we're gonna get a potion? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, uh, are you trying to sell this to Spinel? Spinel has a nice figure. I don't think that she needs any of your junk that you're peddling. Oh, yeah, either that, or it's just a piece of junk. Oh. Yeah, that is true. Spinel should think like the best in everyone. She is an angel, after all. Yeah, and you probably shouldn't tempt an angel. It doesn't really work that way. But then again, I've gotta say, like, shouldn't angels not be concerned with their appearance and vanity and things like that? A what? A niv? You mean a good figure? Yeah, what's going on? Oh no. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you probably shouldn't trust a demon. 
Wow, and she still thinks she's gonna get like a uh, repeat customer here. Whoa, as an angel, you shouldn't hate anybody, Spinel. Not that she's a real angel, like Armor or anything, but you know what I mean. So, what's going on in here? Oh, your appointment with Ray. Wait, what? Yeah, you know, she overslept, yet sh her hair is completely done. Sh her, sh her, she's all made up. Her gloves and her clothes and her jacket and everything else is all on. Yet she has to get ready. Her hair looks just the same way it always does. Huh. And Kunan seems so happy about this. Like, look at the smile on her face. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like she's kind of in a maid's uniform. Oh, really? Well, who was that? Really? Seriously? She's kind of a nurse? And, Leisha, you're just kind of lazy. Like, you can do your own crap. We're not even bringing you into battle. Come on now, take care of your own junk. Huh. Wow, I really hate Leisha. She's just lazy. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, yeah. She's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man, or robot, or girl, or Frozen, or whatever she wants to be. Palmnet? Who's that? I guess another... Robot or Frarzen in her game, I imagine. Yeah, you're kind of forgetting your appointment with Ray. That you had an appointment to go to school? That's an odd appointment. Yeah, no dilly dallying, shilly shallying. What in the world are these two morons doing? seriously confused. Looks like they were trying to bake something and the flour got all over the place. Oh, okay. It's not that hard, I've got to say. You take the box of the pancake mix, you add some water, you mix it up, you put it on a fryer, boom, done, the end. Although, I guess if you're gonna make it from scratch, it would just be, what would it be, like, pancake- It would just be, like, flour and eggs, I imagine, as pancake mix. Probably a little bit of water in there, too. Just, like, maybe, maybe like, a tablespoon or something of water. Because it is more... More liquidy than it is firm. They're not really fighting. Yeah, just make the pancakes. Oh, well, you would need that. Or some Pam, you know. With, with, with pancakes, you wouldn't need all that much oil. I would rather just spray the- I would spray the pan with some Pam or some butter spray just to make it non-stick, you know? Or maybe just a little pat of butter. That would be good, pancakes with a pat of butter. That does sound really good. Oh, well, good. Oh, well, perfect. So it's not just Ray and Fair who can, uh, cook everything in this world. Wow, 
Well, they'll clean it up, you know. There's four of them. Many hands make light work. Oh. Okay. So you just made more work for Ray. And you only made pancakes for Ray. So now Ray has to go and clean up their mess. And he gets less pancakes? That sucks. Did Raj even coordinate this? I don't think he did. Okay, let's see where else we can go here. Oh, Kyle's pirate ship. We'll head on in here. Why not? Yeah, what's going on? You okay? Oh. Yeah, it's been here for quite some time now. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be nice. It seems like a big enough ship. Rather than everybody staying in that one crowded house. Who are you talking about? So, is Sonalar actually Kyle's sister? I imagine that they are. They look similar enough. But then again, in games like these, you can never really tell. Because, you know, it was kind of like um, whenever Spinel was asking, you know, to be Amr's big sister. That sort of thing. So, I don't know if they just call her, you know, big bro or whatever just because they have some sort of pirate relationship. Or if it's actually the truth. Beats me. I wonder why Redalia wants 80. Oh, well, there are Frozens, and they're all modeled after one another, so I would imagine that they would all look alike. Yeah, that is true. Oh. The Great Principle. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know if this is the truth or if this is Redelia's lie. Probably. Oh, well then no. What is it? Yeah. But like I said, you know, Redalia was modeled after Ardelia. So it wouldn't be blood, but they would be modeled after one another. And how could a mechanical doll have a mother? How exactly does that work? I don't know. Auntie. She's kind of young to be an aunt. So, Rodelia does have a mother. She says her mother's warmed. I don't know. I'm confused about the whole Frozen blood mother parent thing. Because to me, it's like giving human qualities to think that something's obviously not human. Uh yeah. Okay, so that's everything. That, oh, no, wait, there's another scene over here. So we'll go over here to the uh, hospital. Why not? Oh, what's all this? Oh. Wait, why can't you show off your special gun moves? Oh, you don't have your... Powers. Huh. So Sonalar is just one of these other people who hang around. Kind of like Casus. They're just dead weight. They don't actually help out. They suck. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Oh, oh yeah, poor Kyle. I forgot about his little fist. Oh. 
Oh. He got a wound on his stomach. All he did was punch the guy. How did he get a wound on his stomach? Oh. Okay. Why don't you guys bring Spinel over here? Maybe she can heal him? Yeah, are you okay, Sonalar? What's going on? Oh. Okay. See ya. Huh. What's up with that? The form of chance. Poor guy. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Huh. Let me guess. You're gonna find some sort of rainbow shell and then magically get the power to fight? Eh. Sounds like what's happening to everybody else. Oh. Must be more to learn. I don't know if that's such a good idea, Sonalar. Whoa! Oh no! It's a stray summon! Yikes! Yes! Run, run to the other side of the exact same screen! Sure. <laughs> oh. Hey, are you alright? What's going on? Oh! Really? A rainbow fragment! Huh! I never saw this coming! Yeah... By the way, all these little rainbow fragment sequences that we've seen for like Hasasha and Burrell and all these other people, they were a DLC in the Japanese version. So this wasn't actually part of the original game. And then when this was ported over to America and localized and all that kind of stuff, Works went ahead and added in all these DLCs for free into the finished product. So that's very nice, and I do applaud Works for that, because if it was me, I wouldn't put one more dime into this game to let Sonolar of all people fight. Yeah, ain't gonna happen. I'm good. Okay. Yikes! For boss time! Against the stray summons themselves! Not really boss time, but fight time! I hope it's not just Sonalar. Am I gonna get help? Whoa! Oh, I get Kyle? Seriously? That's my helper? Do I get anybody else besides Kyle? Kyle's on level one! Come on now! Oh, sweet! I get Raj and Amu! Nice! That works for me. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, I guess not. Makes sense. Okay. Of the Kyle family? Is Kyle his first name or his last name? I thought it was his first name, yet it's the Kyle family? Never heard of such a thing. But can we actually get all of her powers back? And what's going on over in Ist's house? Find out next time on Let's Play Summon Night Six Lost Borders. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.